hello everybody welcome back to the channel I'm here to do my completed colouring pages uh, today um, if you if you've been here before thank you for joining me I hope you subscribed and if not please subscribe and if you're new I hope you enjoy seeing the pictures I did in the month of July now there are a few normal pictures but most of the pictures I've done are actually patterns I've been struggling with my mental health in the last week so last few weeks um, so I've not been in the mood for anything really in depth and you know picture like so it's been mostly patterns just to keep me calm so we'll go through what we did do though so I did one in Chibi Animals by Jade Summer and this one I did the little tiger he's so cute this was done with a mixture of markers it would have been the Arteza Everblends and potentially most likely Windsor and Newton I just can't think of what anything is at the moment so I do apologize the Windsor and Newton Pro Markers uh, but mostly it would be the Artezas and uh, he is just such a cute little thing I did one in Stardust Space Lust and this was a body colour with the lovely Chelsea and we did this one um, it's very very shiny I've got to stop using shiny in here because I always use shiny <laughs> in this book um, but I do like it and it's literally just all gel pens there's some um, uh, link shine there's some um, other ones I had from for Christmas I don't know what they're called but they're really nice pens there's some um, jelly rolls see I cannot think of anything at the moment that's how bad my head is at the moment but uh, but I liked it and it was fun to do a little bit different uh, it didn't take too long but yeah I enjoyed that I do like doing the Carla Maganas I did a body colour with Molly in Fairy Portraits. The, these are so quick to do because they're not that massive. Well, they're sorry, they're massive pictures, but they're not that detailed. But we did Sky. And this again was Windsor and Newton Pro Colours. I think that was all Pro Colours, to be fair. I just didn't do the background. But, oh, I do like that. So thanks, Molly, for doing the body colour. I hope we do another one again soon. I think we're going to be doing one in, Jade's, in a Jade Summer pattern book. I just haven't pulled it yet, so I do apologise. Um, I finally did one in Matchstick Mouse. This is the Christmas one. It's sort of like for Christmas in July. I was going to do a lot of, as many as I could, but I only did two in the end Christmas pictures. But I'm happy with these. I think I only did two. There might be three. There might be a, a, a colour by number one. And I did this one. And this was done using, and I'm not sure which pencils, but I'm going to say Black Widow, I think, looking at them. I think that was the Black Widows. But yeah, it's just really, really cute. The little mouse, he's knitting stockings, the little worm. Didn't take very long, but I really enjoyed it. As you can see, there's bits of pencil here while I was just testing the colours out because I couldn't be bothered to find my swatch book. I am so lazy. I swatch everything and then I don't use the swatch book. I just like doing it. But yeah, that was a really cute one. I do like these little books by Morgan O'Brien. They're really nice books. Um, I did one in Christmas colouring book. Again, this is a book I hadn't coloured in, so it's also another one for Cully Hood. Um, and I did this one and it's done with gel pens. All gel pens, different kinds of gel pens. Just a Merry Christmas wreath. Merry Christmas is in silver. It took a while, but I enjoyed doing it. It's very sparkly. Uh, I got another Jade Summer one. This again is one I hadn't coloured in before. This was the mask book, and in fact, it's this way round. It goes. It's the very last picture in the book, and it's this ma butterfly mask. So I used. Um, I'm just trying to think. Windsor and Newton Pro markers and glitter gel pens they would have been the link shine ones looking at them but yeah so i like that i've now nearly cleared my backlog of jade summer books although they've started putting new books out now so it's growing again those are all the proper pictures i did so um i did one in stylish mandalas uh by karina angel cova i do like this book and that's this one and this one was used i did use in those pens i hauled the, um, I think it was the pens I hauled. Or was it a different set? No, it's the ones I hauled. Uh, the Faber Castell um, felt tips, which I really like. I'm going to be buying them again. I'm telling you now, they are lovely. 
and I also did one in Sally Berry's 300 Mandela's. This is a book I like. I like this one. And that was just done with the Link Shine gels, three colours, red, gold, and green. Karma Chameleon. That was nice. I enjoyed doing that. I like this book. I mean, I have done a few in here. I usually try and do one a month. There's 300 of them. It's going to take me a while to finish, but you know, I at least I'm doing them in there. You know, so. <laughs> okay. Let's go on to colour by numbers. So this is um, all the colour by numbers I did in July. I did one in Pretty Flower Ceramics by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. And I did this one. This was just done using Bic Colour Kids Markers. Because they were handy and I thought I'm going to use them. I was colouring in bed. They usually sit by the bed. They're actually in the other room now because I finished it off in the other room. But yeah, it's just a, a nice nice one to do I, I do like that and it tells you the different flowers as well so that one's narcissus um previous one was a daisy the next one is cherry blossom so i like that i think it's a really nice book i did another in 100 best adult color by numbers by sun life drawing i do like this i like these sun life drawing ones they're ones i would get and they're ones i wouldn't same with color questopia it's 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 like with anything you don't have to buy every single book just because you like some of the stuff. Um, but I did this uh, sort of pixie fairy guy here. And again, this was used doing, these are water-based markers. So this would have been the Bic markers and the Oh Hoo Hoo water-based markers. But yeah, I quite like these. What's next? Oh, it's, it's that one, that's a nice, I'm, Going to probably try and do one in, in a month in this one as well. And then I did do uh, Christmas mandalas colour by number for Christmas in July. This is the other Christmas one I did. Uh, this is Satch and Satch Diva. It's just because I'm trying to colour in random books. And again, this one was done with those big colours and some of the Yohoohoos where I didn't have a mark. So the grey, dark grey is Yohoohoo oh because there isn't the dark grey in the packet I've got and so is the light brown but yeah again I like this book um I'm going to try not to use my alcohol markers in these because it these it, it obviously it uses up a lot of alcohol marker I have bought some Crayola super tips which I'll be hauling in my next haul so if there's any left by the time I get to another haul that was a nice one put that there um I did one in 100 easy mandala colors by numbers by Sachin Sach Diva this again in fact I did two in this one these are just so easy to do and I just love them. So I did this one. This was done with the um, aqua markers, I think. Or was it alcohol? No, alcohol markers. The box downstairs where I've got a load of mixed up. So it might be a bit of a hoo hoo, shuttle art, sharpie, and the ones, the United Office ones from Lidl's. It's all a bit of a mixture. Again, this is one I tend to keep out and do one or two in every month. Same with this one. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, it would have been the same markers because this one was down, all downstairs. But yeah, I like that. Again, I keep that one out with the uh, other from Sun Life Drawing. Uh, and the last one I did, I don't know, but there's a Cheerio stuff on it, is D Dessert Ceramic Tiles by Prati Duan Sechdeva. I do like these tile books. Again, these are alcohol markers, so it's going to have been um, the Arteza, I would imagine, if I did it upstairs. I think I did, yeah. So that's that one. Lovely. I quite like these. Like I said, I'm going to stop using alcohol markers in them because it just, it just eats the ink. So, it's the paper. On to ten books to finish. I'm obviously not going to finish ten. I didn't colour in the nine that are remaining. I think I coloured in eight. So I did do a couple in uh, Rose Windows, Create Homes Rose Windows by Joel S. Averin. Um I'm pretty sure I'll probably finish this one because that, that, this is the one I did, one of the two I did. There's not many in there. They don't take long. I use a specific brand of pen in here with limited colours and I just like the way they look. So I did this one and this one, oh that's bright. That's lovely. I love that. 
it's like a, a, an exploding kaleidoscope. That one. Um, this has used the Crilando art markers, which are alcohol markers uh, by Crilando, who is uh, supplies Lidl. And if they get them in again, I will buy buying them because I think I've got some more, but I'm not sure. But I really like those. There's not many left in here. There's a few, but I could certainly finish this one. And I did one, is it one? Yeah, one in Easy Flower Mandalas by Stefania Miro. I'm not sure about this one. I might do. Um, I do like this book though. And again, this, this I will do alcohol markers in. I'm not sure that was though, I think. Oh, it might have been here. Yeah. Um, but they, I'm not sure what markers they were, but they, oh, it's so pretty. I do love this book. There's not many in this one left now either. So, but yeah, again, various markers. Then I did do one in uh, Jade Summer Colour by Number Mandalas. This is what I'm definitely not going to finish. I mean, I've done a good chunk of them now, which is great, but there's still a good chunk to go. Um, I don't know why that's... Oh, yeah. I don't. Oh, I put it ready because I was going to do another one, but I didn't. And I did this one. And again, was this, was this alcohol marker? I think it was. Yeah, this is the markers downstairs. These are the um, Shuttle Arts and the uh, United Office ones. I tell that by the colours of the oranges. <laughs> I don't know which ones they are. Again, it's a nice book. I, I get fed up with all the oranges. So much orange in this book. It's like, do you really need like one, two, three, four yellows? Because one's a yellow orange, and four oranges because one's a yellow orange, and uh, technically five because one's an orange red. Do you really need that that many oranges and yellows? No, I don't think you do. But you know, I've still got a good chunk of this book left though. One I definitely will be finishing this month in August is Witch Fantasy by Colourquistopia. I have enjoyed doing this book so much. Um, I've only got one picture left in it, so I know that I will be doing it. So I did do finishing it. I did this one. And again, these are various markers. These ones were, I think these were alcohol markers. I'm not sure. Or were they? Oh no, I think, uh, yeah, that one was mostly alcohol markers. Um, again, it would be the um, ones up here, so it would be the Arteza Everblends and uh, I this bright orange. It's supposed to be bright orange. I have no idea what set of pens that came from. <laughs> it's not exactly orange, it's something more pinky red, but there you go. It is what it is. It looks alright. And then, oh, I skipped one. I tell I've got two left then, but I will still finish it. And this one was done using... Um, a mixture of the alcohol markers and the ones I got the from the deco time ones but I apparently missed one so I've got two left in this one. Oh, and I also did well, I'll still finish it <laughs> this month this one which is the last of the bonus pages in the back from one of their other books what books it from does it say it should say that one is from Sugar Skulls Curl and now that's one I might get because I like that if it's still available and I think that's the last one in the book yeah so yeah so I've got two in there I thought it was only one but it is still two I will be finishing that this month I guarantee it this one I certainly won't be finishing this year and that's Kawaii Colour by Number by Colour Quest Day for a while I love it it's like I said I don't like doing the outline and the thing is you have to do the outline if you're using alcohol or water-based markers because they bleed over or you'll go over the lines. So I tend to do it with a silver pen. This one wasn't too bad actually, I quite enjoyed doing it, this one. It's very, very cute. I made a mistake on this bird but it actually it's quite nice and the silver looks good on it. So I will still keep coloring it every month, but I will do another one in it. I still love this book. I just get a bit fed up doing the, um, and there's extras in this one as well which is cool. The bits around the edges but you know it could be worse I still, at least I like the pictures so. I'm a funny bugger I tell you anyway that's that one um easy patterns by Jade Summer it's 50 easy patterns it was 50 easy mandalas I didn't colour in I'm colouring in that this month and I did uh, where are you because I've got these swatch pages in I literally just did one in all pinks and this is just the Oh Hoo Hoo water based markers. So you see, it's ready. Yeah, it's ready. So, and that's just because I thought I'm just going to do it like that. It's okay. The pinks are all right. Oh, apart from this one, this one was from. 
that's an alcohol marker that one I think no maybe not that came from a different set of pens and so did that light pink but I can't remember what set of pens they came from I'm trying to think they're downstairs I don't know so I'm hopeless at remembering things there you go and I also did one in the colour by number flowers by Jade Summer again this is one oh, I did two actually I like her in it I'm probably not going to finish because I'm not even halfway through the book yet <coughs> but it's still a nice book to do I did this one not too bad now that was done with it looks like alcohol markers I know those big ones they do go through as well so I'm not actually sure anymore which ones to which so I did do that one and I also did the one before it which was this one now I actually quite like this one I don't like the brown brown's never a nice color but there you go but I do actually like the the overall look of that picture so I'm I've only done 20 22 23 pictures in there so I'm I'm not going to do it there's you know it's 50 in there I believe another one I hope to finish this year and I've got to, I, I should finish it is Chelsea's book Chelsea's pretty creations you can see it's getting a bit curled because of the way I stored it uh, I haven't got many left to do in this um, there are duplicates and Jennifer will be doing the duplicates I'll do that one because I've got it yellow and she can have that one so she can colour in that this one whenever she wants to but I did this one again this was done using various markers from downstairs so we're talking the shuttle arts oh hoo hoos um deco time is the other one and the ones from the united office we've also got some glitter going on here which is the uh, link shine and these are my metallic pens one ran out and i had to use a different gold but that's okay that's what happens sometimes um and her eyeshadow and blush which is very faint is the Faber Castell Black Edition pencils. I really like that one. I think that's my favourite one in this book so far. I haven't got a favourite picture overall this month, but which one do you like? I think I was going to pick one. I think it would potentially be my little baby tiger from Chibi Animals by Jade Summer. I think. So, which one's your favourite? So, and I also really love this one as well. I, I do. So, yeah. So those are all the pictures I coloured in the month of July. Um, I'm looking forward to colouring more in August. I've got a lot of new books as you've seen in the haul. Um, this month I'm really cutting back. I need to cut back significantly. I've got nowhere to put them anymore. So I've got to work on the ones I've got. Um, and I need to catch up with my reading as well because I'm way behind on my Goodreads challenge, which I will talk about in my reading wrap up video which will be coming in a, a few episodes of time I won't be filming that just yet but it will be soon so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, if there's anything you want me to do any pictures in any books let me know I do apologise we haven't had a colour and chat as, uh, that lately this is mainly because my mental health has been out the window and I've been feeling really off um, I hope to get back to doing one soon somebody asked for a colour uh, chat current chat in moon valley by maria trelay so i will be doing that one a one in there next that's my next that's my plan we will do one in there next and it will be pencils uh so hopefully i'll be able to get to that really soon well i'll see you in the next video i'm trying to catch up with everybody but it's really hard when jenna keeps doing tv and i will see you very soon bye guys